smart studying skills. First, find a good place to study, then get started. Know your learning style, organize your studying time, know how to study for tests, maybe even use tricks to help you memorize information. Know how to write a paper, use tricks when making a presentation or speech, and learn word processing. This is Alex, and he's in show choir right now, and we're here to ask him a few questions on how he gets good grades. So, Alex, how do you study at night? Well, uh, every night, for an hour or four, uh, I study each individual subject, and, and yeah, that's it. Okay, and how do you stay well organized? A binder. A binder. This is Alex. Freak like me, I sit on palm, pick up the microphone and run it like a marathon. I don't think she knows. I'm just very well organized and I study a lot. You should go with the answers for the test. Find a quiet place. Better bring it in, I guess we'll see, man. I've got style and daily when I talk. You see, rocks, things wet out of the chalk. All money and a bottle of the sunny on a hot. Okay, this is Ms. Hampton, and she's an English teacher. And Ms. Hampton, how would you want your students to study in class to get good grades? I would want them to take notes, and for about every hour of for about every hour of notes that you take, you should study for at least an hour at home. Do you want them to be organized? Definitely have to be organized, and especially in the English class when you're doing literature, vocabulary, grammar, writing, and projects. So it will be very helpful to be organized. Do you think it's important to get a lot of high school? To do what? To get like a lot of high school like the experience in order to like do well in college. I think you definitely need to be do well in high school. You need um, to take some honors class, and if not, you definitely need to do a lot of stuff. Do you have any like test taking skills? Do you have any good ones? Well, like they have noticed that in order to know that you have prepared for the test, you have to be able to take the answer to questions without looking at the papers that you're studying from. So until, for instance, for vocabulary tests, if you can't spell the word and say it without looking, then you're not ready for the test. Or if you're studying about a specific error or some notes, then if you can't recite those notes without looking at your paper, then you're not ready. You need to keep studying. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Ms. Hampton. Thank you. <laughs> This girl named Rap, I know from way back I know a whole bunch of cats that got an iron tap But this is Roxo, a.k.a. Julius Caesar This shit pleasing so made fresher than Colgate Alright, we have Hunter Little here, a.k.a. Baby Giving us some examples of how he makes good grades So, how do you do it? Well, I just sit there in class, pay attention Try to do my homework And it comes naturally so he says he was born with natural good test taking skills. Is that right, Mr. Little? Correct, that's right. So when your homework, how do you how do you study for a test? What do you do? Just take it. Don't study. You get good grades on it without studying? Pretty good, it's straight. So it's just natural, it just comes to you. It's just a vibe. It comes to you and you just take tests and get good grades. Alright, well thank you for the interview. Good class. Be successful in the classroom. Be in school on time every day. Learn how to adapt to different teachers. Be prepared to each for each class. Sit in the front of the class if possible so you can hear the teacher better. Be aware of your body language and nonverbal behavior. Always do your homework. Participate in class. Be a great group member. Treat others with courtesy and respect. Involve your parents in all your homework and projects. You wouldn't believe what I saw. A lady in a turban looking at a future telling devices. And she said, Man, you shouldn't be here. The time isn't right for you. You should have known before coming around. We have Paul Hall in here, a.k.a. Paul Wall. Just asked him a couple questions about test taking and how he studies. 
and uh, how you keep yourself organized and how you get prepared for a day at school. So how do you get prepared for a day at school? I just get up, get out of bed, go get dressed, get everything going, and then like, sometimes I've had some time when you do a little study before this class, it's no time, it gets late at night. So, uh, let's see. I organize my books and stuff, trying to keep them, keep them organized as possible. But I'm not a very organized person, so I gotta really work at it. Uh, you, uh, do you make good grades? I make decent grades, yeah. Well, maybe if you organize it, the better you'll make great grades. Possibly, possibly. Also, I have, when I take notes, I enjoy to take short, brief notes that I can understand. I can under, that way I can uh, figure out what, I'm, what I wrote down. So that's a good plus. Instead of taking long notes, take short brief ones that you can understand. Right? Yes. yes. So that you can actually finish the whole slip. Alright. Thank you for the interview. Great ways to be organized. First, you can use an assignment notebook to help organize your papers, such as tests or quizzes you get back from the teacher. Use a three ring notebook for class notes. You can use folders for schoolwork. Maybe even have phone numbers for classmates to help you with homework. Make sure you keep your locker and backpack neat and get organized before you go to bed to help you start off the day at school right. This is a perfect example of what not to do during class. You should be sure that you are paying attention to the teacher, and taking notes, and not trying to get it from others, or physically harassing them for the answers, because that is bad. It is also important not to talk during class, because this can distract from the other learners and cause people to miss key notes during the presentation. Phones are also a major distraction, either while studying or during class. Most schools prohibit the use of phones during school. We have Miss Muhammad here, eleventh grade English teacher, interviewing her on how to get good grades, and we're gonna ask her a couple questions like what she expects out of a student to get good grades and how they should conduct themselves in class. What do I expect out of a student to get good grades? They must be self motivated, right? The meaning you don't have to constantly remind them to do their work; they're willing to do it. Also, in order to get good grades, they must have study skills. They must know how to study, when to study, and don't wait till the last minute and cram. <laughs> and that's about it. Thank you, Ms. Muhammad, for the interview. <laughs>